Uh, you wake up this morning. Uh, I'll just go through some of the results uh, that you might already know. Uh, Claudia Tenney is now your congresswoman elect. Um, uh, Mike Arcuri losing to Rob Bauer. Uh, that was uh, was an interesting one in uh, in Oneida County. Um, uh, Carpenter, uh, Jeff Carpenter remains district attorney in Herkimer County. Uh, uh, Brian Miller wins. Any of the other ones that you can think? The uh, the paving uh, expenditure. Uh, that passed uh, last night, going from three to or two to th- to five million. Any, anything else? I think that's uh, pretty much it, right? What was it? Uh, Lori Washburn won. Lori she, Washburn, she ran yeah. a special election for the seat that used to be held by Harmony, um, one of the friends of the show. And how about uh, Harmony? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how about Harmony? <laughs> These are two names. I want to throw out two names that uh, that started this whole thing off. Harmony. And Dave Gordon, yes, that were absent during uh, during all this craziness. There were a couple of uh, Jim Seward won re-election. Uh, John Salka challenged Bill McGee. Bill McGee won. He's one, one of the that few Democrats actually yeah. on our list that that was victorious yeah. yesterday. He's older than uh, Ruth uh, Ginsburg, I believe. Uh, yeah. Bill McGee, <laughs> maybe. Um, and I work yeah. with Brian Miller, who won Claudia C. Um, he, he's I like a Brian Republican. a lot. Republican. I work with the Democrats, but Brian's a good dude. He is. So, so people should know Brian. I mean, he he's. One of the legislators that can. When you look at Brian, though, I would never call him a dude. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming from you, Marcus. He's a bad hombre. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark in Whitesboro, what do you think? I, I love the results, but he's got a, he has a big job ahead of him to clean up this mess that the Democrats, most of, not all the Democrats, but some of the, a lot of Republicans have made in this country. What a, what a task he has in front of him. Let me ask you, Mark. I, I, I want to ask you, though, because we're going to talk about this just a little bit. What uh, what change do you want to see? If Trump were to come in and just reverse some things, what do you want to see reversed? I'm assuming Obamacare. Of course. But uh, I, but I, I got to tell immigration, you, immigration, immigration policies, yep. the taxes and regulations. I mean, it's a complete mess. How about education? Look, I mean, everything's a mess. Yeah. Uh, the education I, I, should be brought down to the state levels, the county levels, the city levels. I mean, he's got a mess in front of him. Uh, I, I, uh, and, and only he could do it. You think he can do it? Well, we're going to find out. Um, uh, only he could do it. Only he can do it. All right, Mark, I appreciate it. We were talking about, I, I think the mistake was, so let's think about it. When Obama comes in, uh, he, he, has, uh, he has a huge opportunity because they have the Senate and the House. Right. And... They push down, they just push right down the throats of, of Republicans, Obamacare. That's the first move. They're in the middle of a crisis, a financial crisis. And by the way, you got to give Obama credit. He did, uh, he did do the bailout that was needed, which was started by George, uh, uh, George Bush. Anyway, but by pushing that agenda, then you've got guys kissing guys and women kissing women. You've got uh, guys using ladies' bathrooms. You have um, a gay marriage. You have uh, what else? I mean, how much social change can one country take all at once before there's a pushback? Yeah, and you look at it. Um, you know, I, I think they were piggish. I think the Democrats were piggish, and they're paying for it now. Well, they tried to do, they, they were arrogant. They tried to do as much as they can. But on, on the other hand, should they not? I mean, but the Republicans, they're going to try to do as much as they can. But, you but know, there's, a, there's one thing. That, I mean, the gay marriage thing is one thing. But the, the some of these other issues, I do really believe that they could have moved much in a much slower fashion, and you wouldn't have had such such a, a kickback. Well, I don't know because o- Obama won re-election after the stimulus, after he did. Obamacare. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, some of it's unique to Hillary. Trump Clinton. says Romney lost it, though. Yes. Well, <laughs> some of it's unique to Hillary Clinton, but there was yeah. a whole bunch of people that didn't want to run against him. You know, yeah. um, I think, you know. When I was in college, my teacher, I was a communications major, my teacher said, okay, if I say regular Americans, well, what does that free phrase mean to you? And, 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 and you look at it, what's a regular American? That's a moving... Uh, that's a- that's a, it depends on who's looking. Yeah. And, you know, 30 years ago, it's clear what a regular American was, right? He was probably straight. He probably had a hard lunch pail. Yeah. Right, he, he, he Wife, probably three or four kids. Right, probably took a train a couple times. Had had calluses on his fingers. People like my grandfather mm-hmm. might have fought in World War II. If you're that guy, and you wake up today, it's a different country. You see women walking down the street with their heads wrapped. Yeah, you, you hear people speaking different Spanish, languages. Different language, many not just Spanish, but not just but, many, yeah, different, many languages. different languages. You see dudes kissing each other, and and you go up and you say, "Well, is this America?" And I think part of this election was about 
When you say make America great again. What is America? I do wonder, and I've heard this phrase used, and don't hate me for it, uh, but make America white again. Uh, make America oh. what it was again. I'm, I'm, I'm saying there's a, there is a demographic change in this country right now. I, 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 I have no problem saying that. There's a huge demographic change, a change that scares what used to be the majority, which is me, that is now beginning to wither away by the numbers. The, uh, the, how many years is it going to be before white Americans are not the majority in this country? That is a big, I think that played a role in this election. Well, there's no question, and it's not just that. It's, it's everything culturally. You know, back, when, uh, back in those days, you could have a high school uh, diploma and, and raise your family and, and make a good living. And now, you know, your grandkids got college degrees, and they're coming back, and they're telling you all this stuff about, you know, climate change and pollution. Yeah, You're like, yeah. you know what? The coal mines fed this family. And, and, and those people... And that okay. feel like America's slipping because that's what they think America right. is. Mm -hmm. No pensions anymore. No, you don't have the retirement pension anymore. No. You got to invest in you. The world is changing, and I think it's just and and there's something that was brought up the other day too that I thought was really very interesting, and that is I hope we're preparing for the real change because robotics and automation and all that stuff we've seen it sweep through the radio industry, right? Yeah. right. Where where um, <clears throat> automation is is taken over. Yeah. Um, this we're about to uh, there will be there will be fewer jobs when corporations and companies can be and factories can be more efficient um, with 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 fewer people. And you're seeing it all over the place. There was talk to uh, from a lot of people on the news outlets last night saying that this uh, will essentially ruin Barack Obama's legacy. Do you think that's the case? I mean, I. I Probably am biased on this subject, but I think Barack Obama's legacy is is kind of like after a while going to be apart from the man anyway mm -hmm. because of the historical significance of having a black president after slavery and everything in our country. So it's kind of like Martin Luther King. You know, he gave the I have a dream speech, but what else did he do? And everybody it's, gets it's, more. It's, yeah. Everybody is, is much yeah. more liked. You after name a school after him. Time you know, goes on. It's not true. about yeah. his policies. Like, you, you know, every every black neighborhood is going to have a Barack Obama Boulevard. And, and, and that's his legacy. I mean, he was a pioneer no matter how you slice it, just yeah. like Hillary Clinton would have been. Right. And um, or, you know, Michelle Bachman would have been whatever. Those people that are the first are kind of untouchable after a while. It's well, just and how even, long even it takes presidents, a while. even presidents, though, um, I look at Nixon's approval rating after years went on. Nixon's approval rating went back up again as time goes on. It's like childbirth. You kind of forget about the uh, you forget about the pain. You're like, hey, let's do this again. Well, if the world doesn't blow up, he didn't do that bad. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, I think your your makeup is very interesting. Uh, and for those that don't know, Marcus, uh, Marcus is um, a black, uh, half black, half white. Uh, yeah. You have a, a white mother and a and a black father, which puts you in a very unique position here. Yeah, because you you try to um you 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 try to. You, you see both sides, you know, I have, and the funny thing is how much they have in common, you know, because they're obviously so different, but like, both my grandfathers were in the army, you know, one just came from the south where, you know, he, yeah. he, he, he um, experienced some different things, and, and, and they don't communicate, but they share those, those core, like, I'm a hardworking man, the women played less of a role in the house, and, and, but they, they come from different ends of the political spectrum when you talk to them. And but that's the story of Utica. It's not just my story. Right, I mean, right. everybody here right. has friends and family that you wouldn't have had if this was 30 years ago. The question is, and Pat Buchanan said this, this is why he got fired from M MSNBC. He said, this demographic change has never been put to a referendum. They just assume we wanted it. And, 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 and I think that's what a lot of nationalism is about. There's no question that's what Brexit was about. Right, right, right. So, right. And it's not, uh, we're not, when we talk about race, it's not necessarily, or, or white, it's not necessarily black versus white. It, it involves, as you said, the, the woman walking down the street with the, with, with the hijab uh, yeah. and, and, uh, and different religions and different languages. There's just a lot of change well, in this country. How many people don't go to church on Sundays now compared to when you were a kid? Yeah. You know, How, where's the church? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where would you I, even go? There's like two left. I know. So, I, I'm talking about you to come. Well, the schools. Schools. They've all never been on the ballot. Yeah, you know, and uh, interesting stuff. And Marcus, you bring a, an awesome perspective, and I, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, this is a big day for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people extremely happy. They feel like they have their country back. And by the way, uh, Republican President, Republican Senate, Republican House.
Um, they now have the same position the Democrats had eight years ago. How will the Republicans react? How will Trump react? Yeah, but there's no. But but what that does though is it gives you a certain amount of responsibility, and and I don't know if they can keep their promises, and I hope they can. But like, I'd be interested to see like what they do with the debt ceiling now. They Mm. said they're not going to raise it without cutting equal. I want to know are they going to cut that much of the budget? Um, I'd be interested to know Obamacare. There's kids on the plan. We talked about uh, till they're 26. A lot are of they going to kick I, them off? I, I don't think you can reverse a lot. You can, how do yeah, you reverse I, gay marriage when you have people who've been married? Uh, right, gay uh, marriage. How do, you reserve, Supreme Court. how do you just throw out uh, Obamacare? You, you, it, even Hillary was going to redo Obamacare, right? Kind abortion's of been illegal it. for what 50 years now. I mean, been legal for 50 uh, years now. Yeah. I mean, if you got rid of Planned Parenthood and abortion at this point, after 50 years, when when two whole generations have grown up with yeah. that stuff being the norm, I, I really believe uh, Trump is not as socially conservative as he claims. Right. Um, when you look at his life over the years, but Trump is somebody that can walk into a room and his message will alter depending on the crowd. And I wonder, um, is all are all those things that he said? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to do this. We're going to build a wall. We're going to do whatever. Does it change now that he's now that he's in? in uh, I don't gonna... know if he means it, but I know Mike Pence means it. <laughs> you, you know, Mike I mean, the, the people that they're <laughs> they're they're working with, they mean it. And and you know what? They deserve it. Like if you win, that's what my argument was always. You know, when Barack Obama was the president, I think like you know he should have got a Supreme Court nominee. I think Congress should have said, look, this guy won an election. Let's yeah. try to work with him and, and, and start with his agenda and see if we can modify it. And I think they deserve it. I think Democrats should. Um, not be hypocrites, don't filibuster everything, right. and allow the Republicans to do what the people voted for. Yeah. Uh, Marcus Phillips, appreciate it. Marcus, was uh, w- when you're now where, by the way? I- I'm, I'm the Democratic analyst for the United Oneida County Board of Legislators, Got although it. I'm not sure they like that I say that too much when I'm here. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus worked for the Observer Dispatch. They he also with me. worked for us uh, at uh, Utica Daily News, was instrumental in the success of Utica Daily News when we were uh, when we were operating that it was really uh, something and to have you back on the radio is uh, is awesome and your perspective is very interesting it's been I fun. find it interesting so thanks for taking the time and coming Thank in you. this morning